Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farms. If this is your first time here at the channel, my name is Andy, so welcome. And uh, today, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to go over my Fire Chief wood furnace. I uh, bought this back in October of 2022, and now it is January of 23. This is a primary way that I heat my home. So I thought I would show this to you guys. I just got home from work, so I'm going to get ready to start a fire in it, and I'll show you how I do that. And uh, I guess Lily's going to hang out with me while I do it. So stay tuned. So this wood furnace is one of the new EPA approved furnaces. Um, it's the, the model for it is the FC1000E. And looking over YouTube and looking over a lot of other outlets that I, when I was looking at purchasing this, I didn't see anything out there. So I hope this review helps somebody if you're looking at it. Um, I will tell you guys, I was really skeptical on buying this stove. One. Uh, with the EPA being involved in it, I didn't know how efficient it was going to be. I uh, was kind of nervous about it. I mean, I knew with my background, I had an old 60 Ford, and every time I ever had issues with that truck, it was all emission stuff. My Duramax, love that truck to death, but anytime I've ever had any problems, it's always been emissions. So the way that I used to heat my house was I had an old Timberline uh, wood stove insert. And... Uh, <laughs> Hey, can you two knock it off? Thank you. Hi, Lil. Hi, Rube. Yes, I know. <laughs> Sorry. The furnace will heat up to 2,000 square foot, which works perfectly for me because my house is just under 2,000 square foot. <clears throat> it says when you look at it online and some of the uh, companies that are selling this product, uh, you know, 10 to 15 hour burn time. And I would say that's that's pretty consistent with what I've seen. Again, I've had this since October, I think mid-October of 2022 is when uh, I had everything hooked up and when I hooked this up to the new liner and everything. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, I've been really impressed with this unit. Very, very impressed with this unit. It's very efficient. I don't burn nowhere near as much wood as I used to using the old uh, Timberline wood stove insert. And, you know, the way that I grew up and kind of how I found this company was I grew up with burning coal. So my father, uh, the house that he built, he had a coal wood furnace and we primarily used coal in it. And so that was when I bought this place and I got looking at the layout. I was like, you know, wish I had an old furnace like Pop used to have and put this down here. So uh, as we know, those furnaces have been outlawed. Uh, so that's why I went with this one and I'll tell you guys I've been pretty happy with it So I'm gonna go ahead and get a quick Fire going because as I said, I just got home from work not long ago So I'll go ahead and get a fire going kind of show you guys how it uh, it works we'll let the temperature kind of get up and You'll get to see how the fan and all that works now the manufacturer and some of the other stuff that I've seen on some of the other Fire Chief furnaces tells you um, to only use Kinlin, not to use paper or anything like that. Uh, so that's what we have going on here now. Probably the biggest drawback that I have for this is just how much smoke I have rolling out in the initial. Let's see if I can get you a shot here. You can kind of see some of the smoke that I have coming out of the door. And I don't know if maybe that's the way the chimney's laid out and the liner and all that, um, but it's really not too, too bad. So once this gets going, I'll close it up, kind of put it on this first latch. Sounds like it should be going there. So this thing does have this latch here that I like to use a lot of times when I'm first starting a fire. 
So now that I got it going, we'll give it a couple minutes and we'll come back and kind of see how it looks. You are about 15 minutes into just starting to fire. And as you can see, just the kindling going, we got a nice little, nice little fire going. I still have some of the smoke rolling out. So I'm gonna set you guys up here and I'll kind of talk to you while I put some bigger pieces on. So I guess the one cool thing about this furnace is because it's one of the new EPA approved furnaces and because of when I bought it, um, I can actually write off 26% of the total purchase of this furnace through my taxes. Uh, so that was kind of nice um, because as some of you know, uh, money has become kind of scarce and hard for me at times with everything going on. And this is my primary way of heating the house, so it works out really good for me. Um, I do have the fans going. I don't know. I just turned my microphone off because it was making that horrible popping noise again. So hopefully you can hear the fan going. Um, some of the other things that they talk about with the manufacturer is this is your ash pan. Make sure, and the ash pan goes in here. Um, make sure when you buy this, you take the ash pan out. So they put the ash pan in here, uh, and if you don't take this out, it doesn't draft correctly. Um, so you need this open. This is kind of in the center. You won't be able to see it now, but the grates that are in there, you can push all your ashes down and they'll fall down. And I clean that out just once a day, just real quick. You can kind of see some of the ashes falling through there. Um, but it's important that you take this ash pan out so if you're looking at this furnace take the ash pan out now when i purchased this i got it from l m supplies and i had to buy the stand separate so the stand was separate i think the stand was about 300 dollars um the furnace itself might have been like 2100 and it actually had free truck shipping so you know i have the tractor with the with the forks on it so i picked it up and moved it um, one thing that I have had an issue with this is I did have the original high temperature stat switch went bad. Don't know why. Um, right now it's probably not enough heat coming out to turn this on. But I came home one day uh, to have lunch and noticed that the fan wasn't running. And I was like, man, it should be running. It should be plenty hot. And I checked it and it was... 300 degrees and for whatever reason the fan wasn't working so on this stat switch you can put it into manual by pushing it or you can pull it out which is an auto so i pushed it in and luckily the fan came on um so i just had to pretty much run with the fan on the whole time um until i got a new stat switch now i didn't go through the warranty part of that with fire chief mainly because i didn't feel like waiting and then just going through that and it was pretty cold when all that was going on i mean we were in the in the upper teens at nighttime and things like that so i needed this to work uh, i i found this online and i mean you know it's got the qr code and had everything on there so i just scanned that qr code found the company that had it and within a day had a brand new one and uh, just had a buddy come over and just double check that i didn't do anything wrong trying to hook everything up um, but this thing is super super simple this box here it, it's all just plug in and then I just ran a wire up for the thermostat to tie in upstairs this is not hard to hook this thing up yourself um, it really wasn't too too heavy I had a appliance cart and had a couple guys help me but to be perfectly honest with you I probably if I had to uh, I probably could have got it in here completely by myself. I did cheat using the tractor to get it as close to the basement door as I could. But uh, like I said, I had some people here to help me. But once we got it up in the air, and especially on that appliance cart, it was really easy to move around. So if you don't have an appliance cart, I would highly suggest you get one. Um, as I told you guys, I'm really, really impressed with this furnace. It's done an awesome job for me heating my home this is the only way that i heat my home right now i mean if i need to i can run some space heaters here and there but with the way this house is laid out 
uh, this just works the best way for me and especially price costs uh, fuel natural gas oil I mean you go through it all and it's 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 all up there in price so just to kind of give you an idea the fan has kicked on so hopefully you can hear that uh, as you can see I have some tape on there uh, I don't know why but with this filter the last filter I didn't have a problem when I put this filter in um, it was vibrating on the top so I just had to do some engineering there and put some tape on there to just to get the top of that to stop flapping um, something else that I got thinking about um, with this furnace and I'll get it set up here for you so you, I'm not shaking you all over the place um, some of the things that you don't want to do with this furnace which I thought watch out little <laughs> which I thought was kind of weird well, I shouldn't say weird. I'm just used to a wood stove and this is a wood furnace. So they just operate a little different. The one thing that you don't want to do when you go to install this is don't put a damper in the flue. Okay, so don't do that. The reason why this fan here is what's going to act as your damper. So you don't need to put a damper in there. Um, make sure that when you do operate this, don't leave the ash door open because what that will do is it will cause um, you know high temperatures to come up through the firebox and then that can warp the box that can cause some issues and that's going to kind of mess you up in your warranty department there um, again like I told you guys make sure you take the ash pan out to be perfectly honest with you I don't use the ash pan I really don't I just use a regular shovel and just shovel it into my ash pan uh, I don't use the ash pan that they provide um, I tried once before. It's just kind of bulky. I'd rather just take a just a black shovel that I've always used and just use that. Um, and really, other than that, this thing's pretty easy to do. You know we're recording right now. Like yep. You're going to be on YouTube. Yep. <laughs> I asked her earlier if she wanted to come in, and she's like, "No, I don't want to do that." But now I guess she wants to be here. And the girls have been have fighting board. the whole time. So uh, the fan had kicked off. And now it's kicked back on. So the way that I have the fan set up, uh, I think from the factory it's set up at 200 degrees. And I just set it at 150. Um, mainly because I didn't want the same thing to happen before if the temperature switch went bad. Um, so it just kicked back on, which is a good sign. So it's working the way it's supposed to be working. And I tell you guys, man, I'm really, really happy with this. I mean, what do you think, Lily Tamer? What do you, is the house warm when yes. this is going? Definitely definitely so sometimes it's too warm. sometimes too warm and see that's the thing I me personally when it's too warm I open windows uh, so down here we had some nights that was like in the teens around Christmas right it was really cold and there were nights here that downstairs was like 85 90 degrees and upstairs was 75 and that's without this being tied into duct work and run into all the rooms now i will tell you just like just like if you had a wood stove in the center of a house um yes on the outskirts of the bedrooms are a little cool and things like that um but for the most part it's comfortable it's not um you know where those of us that grew up with wood stoves know that hey the center of the house is awesome and then the outsides you're you know you're going from 90 degrees to 50 degrees I don't have that. If the main cent main part of the house is 75 in the center of the house, then my outskirts might be 68 or 70. And to me, that's pretty comfortable. That'll be it for tonight. Um, we'll do another video in the morning uh, just to kind of show you, you know, what it looks like and stoking the fire and getting it going again. Uh, before I sign off for tonight, you can kind of see it's rolling pretty good in there. It's about ready for some more wood. So I'll throw some more wood on there. And uh, getting it ready for nighttime, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Here we are uh, next morning uh, outside. It's about 40, 42 degrees, 40 degrees somewhere in there. <clears throat> Inside right now is uh, 68 upstairs. Um, down here it's uh, 75. Uh, you know, when I put this fire on last night, it was pretty late in the night. One thing I will say about this, the the more you're around it and keeping it going that's when you're going to get that 10 to 15 hour burn time um 
But when you do a, a night like I had tonight where, you know, I started it at 5 o'clock and kind of babied it a little bit until 11 o'clock at night or whatever when I went to bed, um, kind of give you an idea of what it looks like here. I kind of stoked it a little bit. I had a little bit of coals left in there. And the fan actually just kicked on for it. So, you know, I, I hope this kind of helps somebody out. If you're looking at this type of furnace or if you're thinking about an indoor furnace, uh, especially one of the new EPA ones, I've been pretty happy with it. I did see some of the reviews online. Um, people were, Ruby, stop. Ruby's going to knock my, my stand over. Hey, girl, how are you? I know. I know, Ruby. So I, I did see some of the reviews online when I was looking at this, and here comes Thunder Paws. Come on, you're going to knock the camera over there, dingy. <laughs> Sorry, they just they got their breakfast, and now they're ready to rock and roll with Dad. <laughs> I did see some of the reviews uh, that uh, a lot of people were saying that they had. I'm going to pick this up before Lily knocks it over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some of the reviews that people were having leaking issues and that the unit itself was leaking I haven't had that the only problem that I had was this at a high temperature stat switch and uh, I'm gonna let them outside come on you two come on no Rip, come on you just been out but you can go out again sorry for the interruption <laughs> so uh, some of the reviews that I saw people were complaining that there was a leak the unit was leaking the smoke and leaking this and do I haven't had that issue. I think if you just follow what the manufacturer says in operating this, you shouldn't have any problems. Like I said, the only major issue that I've had since October was just that high temperature stat switch. And yeah, I could probably turn it in for warranty stuff. I mean, it just is what it is. Um, I guess the one thing that I didn't touch on, and I probably should have touched on it last night when I was doing the initial. <clears throat> so this unit has these plenums here on the top. And it has its own blower fan here to circulate all the warm air inside around the firebox and then come out these plenums. And then you can tie these plenums into your ductwork. Now, as I've said in previous videos, uh, I don't have central air in this house yet. Right now, for the, for the summer months, I got a window shaker that's upstairs, which to be perfectly honest with you guys, I've been pretty impressed with that thing. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that if anybody's looking at window units. Uh, for cabins or something like that. I can tell you if when I the game plan is to put central air in this place, but when I do, I'm gonna take that window unit and if I build a, a decent sized pole barn here on the property, that's gonna go in that pole barn because I've been really impressed with it. But when I do do central air, I plan on tying these plenums into the ductwork. Um and probably my game plan right now is to just do the ductwork first because I just can't afford putting central air and ductwork all in one time so just kind of doing it in baby steps and in increments but the nice thing about that is where this basement when it's really rolling and I get it going and it's 90 degrees obviously this is just radiant heat that's traveling up stairs through some of the cutouts that I put in the floors to get me at 75 degrees upstairs so once I can tie this in even if it's just going off of this blower fan into the ductwork and into the rooms, it's gonna be a lot more efficient than the way that I've run it this winter. Um, but you know, again, money rules all and it's what you can afford. And right now this works fine for me, um, but you know, you can always get better with it. So if you guys have stayed on long enough for this video, uh, I really appreciate it. Make sure you give the video a like, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um, leave a comment down below if there's a furnace that you're interested in um, or if you've got any questions about this uh, please let me know i'm not an expert uh, it's funny when you do videos like this you'll have people get on here and just throw out all these big terms well you didn't discuss this and you didn't do that and i was like yep nope i didn't because that really doesn't matter to me not an expert I'm just a guy trying to make it out here so, um, if you like what I'm doing, 
subscribe to the channel and follow along and you can see the progress in this i think that's the probably the coolest thing i like about youtube there's a lot of other channels that i watch out there and i'm going to put a plug out to a guy because i'm really impressed with how far he's come because him and i started about the same time frame um brad at firewood at the furnace uh dude your channel looks awesome man and uh <laughs> figured i'd throw this on here this uh black and red you know if you ever want a furnace i know those are your colors so fire chief has the black and red in case you ever want to put an indoor furnace in but uh you know watching a channel like that watching it grow and watching things go and watching some of the other homesteading channels that i've watched uh, i think it's pretty neat so that's kind of why i thought it was cool that i found this property and because it was it was bare bones buddy it was bare bones so uh you know if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see the progress subscribe and follow me along and if not i hope you learned something from this and it helps you out so as always i'll see you on the next one